got a question for y'all. Y'all ever try, uh, y'all ever try bugles? I got me some nacho cheese bugles right now, and this is like the first time I've ever tried them before in my entire life, and I gotta be honest. It, it, and bef before I say this, it wasn't like I was expecting a whole lot from the chip, if you can even call them these, or if you can even call these those, however you say that sentence, but... gonna be a little bit of crinkling and crunching going on for a little minute here as I finish these chips, dog. Again, if you even call them chips. What else would you call them? <laughs> I guess bugles. But yeah, they're not, they're, they're not bad. I wouldn't say they're bad at all, but they're not really good either. I give the, the, I got the nacho cheese variety. I don't know if I said that before, but I'd give these nacho cheese bugles like a five out of 10. You know what this puts me in the mood for, bro? A better type of chip. I want something better than this. I want something better than a five out of 10. You know what I could really go? Sorry for not getting into the, the reaction right away, but I'm, I'm in a chip talking mood. I'm about to share with you my favorite type of chip. My favorite type of chip gotta be the Ruffles cheddar and sour cream, bro. Those, <laughs> those chips slap. And I wish I got those instead of these musty bugles. Hey, put in the put in the comment section what your your favorite type of chip is, dog. I swear, bro. If I see some some nacho cheese bugles in the comment section down below, um, I'm gonna be disappointed. I expect better taste from this community. But uh, now that the uh, the little chip review is out of the way, it's time to dive into Eden Zero Chapter 155. Now, right off the bat, I gotta say that this I think I believe is a fan translated chapter. This chapter isn't even supposed to be here this week, but the, I, I don't know how people got their hands on it, but they did and they translated it and now here it is for me to show off to you all. Now with all that said, before we dive into the actual chapter, I just gotta say one quick thing about Sister Ivory right here. Uh, she looking nice, <laughs> she looking hot. And that's all I'm gonna say about the cover page, bro. I'm not gonna comment on what's going on back here. Now let's move on. <laughs> Jin is going through it right now and he is not having a good time. He's turning into mist. Mist doesn't seem like it would be that bad to turn into. L like on the uh, on the Scalion side of things, getting turned into ash probably wouldn't feel too great, but getting turned into mist? I don't know, that kind of sounds like a little bit refreshing. What the hell am I talking about? Anyways, back to Jin. I am hoping in this chapter he somehow finds a way to get out of this by doing like some technique or something. I don't know. And then he uses like a new super powerful cool technique to try and like beat Callum with that. I'm really hoping that once again overdrive is not the solution to the problem because it, if that's repeated for a third time in the same arc that would be the definition of redundant and honestly a little bit lame. I'm gonna need you to do something else and do something cool. Disappear. Disappear for good. My brother <laughs> my ether gear is specific to cards. I can change their numbers and control them. However, my real power is changing the card's attributes. So two things. First off, thank you, Hero, for finally telling us all of what she can do when it comes to her ether gear. I've said this before. If she only had the ability to just change the numbers on cards, that would be so lame. So I'm glad that she can do a little bit more than that. And I think that this might make her a tad bit stronger than her initial conception by, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the name, whoever created this character on Twitter. Because how it worked originally is when she had dice and she would roll the dice, whatever number she got, that would be the level of strength that the attack was. Here it's a little bit different because I don't know if she can control the strength of the cards, but she can use multiple attributes, like a lightning. So I'm assuming that in a way she kind of basically has the same powers as Witch, but hers are connected to cards, therefore making her much worse than Witch. Even I don't know what kind of attribute will be activated by my gambler rush, but that's what makes it fun. Okay. Good for you, I guess? My body! Oh, I don't know why I'm just making the connection now, but Yo Laguna has Empire Ether. Cause he is like the same type of ability. He can turn people into water through uh through tears. I guess uh, Callum's ability would be a little bit more powerful though. Cause he doesn't need like a prerequisite for it to be activated. But he was talking about how like Empire Ethers are not uh, something rare in the Oi Cosmos. Many Ether Gear users from the Oi Cosmos have this power. For example, my Tears Lover is a power that alters the opponent. Ooh, what if on like the spot? This would be a little bit, a little bit BS. I, I have to admit, but it would be kind of interesting though, 
if Jin on the spot in the moment develops his own type of like empire ether. You mean when you can turn us into water when we cry? Yeah. Shiki, you didn't need to say that for the group, bro. I'm pretty sure we all got it. And look at you back there, just smug as all get out. It sounds like it's tailor made to. <laughs> okay, I can see why you're being smug. Damn, dog. Could you imagine if Deku was in this universe? He would have got bodied a long time ago if he ever met Laguna. Or on the flip side, you put Laguna in the, uh, the My Hero Academia universe? Bro, Deku would have been done episode one. I mean, same for Shiki, because he was crying too, but like, Shiki wasn't crying in like every single chapter after that. Deku went on a bit of a crying spree at the beginning of the series. I mean, episode one, two, three, <laughs> he'd be done in all of them. I would like to duel with you once. You faced each other already and were- Oh, that's right! They haven't actually- They haven't actually fought in, in this world. All right, with that knowledge, I need a Laguna and Tamara team up. That's what I need. I think I've said that I wanted to see it before, but now I'm reiterating that point if I've made it before right now. I want to see it. Somebody make it happen. And by somebody, I mean hero. But it has its weak points. This power reorganizes the flow of ether within the opponent's body. C, 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 C. Also, also, nice to see which, even though it is just in a flashback. <laughs> I mean, I'll take a flashback at this point. Golly, where's she at? What's she doing? The flow of ether, but if you do that, the ether affects the person's body and changes its state. Hence, Master Laguna can turn his targets into liquid. Now, theoretically, it is possible, but Moscow... It, it, what? I, I don't even know what this word would be without the Moscow. So there's theoretically, but practically? I don't know, dog. It's incomprehensible. But this mechanic itself is its weak point. Hmm? Jin learning, though. He's steady eyes wide open, dog. Paying attention hardcore. What for, though, I wonder? You didn't even know that Callum was on Nero 66. In general, Ether Gear increases our E power. I'm assuming that's Ether power. But always reduce the opponent's ability. Problem is, to do that, it's necessary to forcibly change the Ether of the target. If you can return the flow of Ether to your normal state, it's it's possible to nullify this power. Who, who can do that though? I'm assuming Jin. I'm assuming that that's what's gonna happen on like the very next page or the one after that, but how you gonna do it though? Wait, so the first step to reversing this effect is to know who you are? Who am I? Wealthy childhood as the eldest son of the Rutherford family. I know that this doesn't imply that there's like more than one son in the Rutherford family. He's saying eldest son because, you know, he has a younger, si uh, younger sister, but that would be kind of cool if there were more sons in the Rutherford family. And they're like trying to track down Jin and just bring him back to the, the mother and father. The times as a boy when I was captured by Muller and lost. When I was saved by Draken and moved... What? Draken saved Jin from... Wait, huh? Bro, this is why I need a, a mini series about the Rutherford siblings. There's so much good shit in here. And just have it explained all the way in a backstory is a waste. No, dude, I want to see this whole journey. I want to see how he gets kidnapped. I want to see how Draken saves him. I want to know everything. Please. The days I spent looking for Sister to cure Queen, when I joined the Sky Mech Dojo to get stronger, the days I spent doing fake Sister's dirty work, until I got to meet the Eden Zero, when I realized it had become my home. I don't really know... Wait, okay. I, I guess... I, I guess he is getting overdrive this arc. See, if you had just taken out the two previous overdrives that were used in this arc, Hamura and Weiss, this would hit way, way more. But since we just had two previous overdrives, again, in this same arc, this don't hit. I wish it did, but it doesn't. At the very least, I just hope he looks cool. Let me just start over. I don't really know who I am. My future that was shrouded in darkness and enclosed has opened. Now I can be whatever I want. Ugh. Hold up. Not a speech. The speech kind of hit. Oh, wait, what? He doesn't have... Uh, okay, okay, I like this. I like this. He don't got overdrive. Maybe that was just like a little bit of a, a burst of overdrive. Just to like set him straight and get him out of the... The, uh, the Empire Ether, but he still hasn't like unlocked it yet. Maybe that's what it was. That That's cool. I'm fine with that. And that is who I am. Sick ass 
channel. Oh my gosh, bro. Do you see this? That's a punch that you know hurt. And what are you, what are you punching off, by the way? Because you're knocking off some bits, but these aren't like pieces of his face, are they? Are you punching him so hard that pieces of your, your fist are falling off? Oh, yo, look at this clash. Poem of Gale, a missed blade. I see you've improved, Jin. Of course. I've been practicing. <laughs> Let's go! That's not even like cockiness. That's just him stating a fact. Of course. I've been practicing, bro. You think I was going to come back up here as the same dude as you knew back in the Sky Mc uh, Dojo? No, sir. Damn, you had a whole ass flashback and you still finna lose again because he's trying to turn you back into mist. Do, the, do that little, uh, little overdrive burst again, but don't actually transform into it, bro. Please don't do that. I, d I don't. I don't want to see that. I don't care how cool it looks. Don't do it. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> what did you forget, bitch? <laughs> oh my gosh, no. No, they both can do it. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. Jin looks fucking sick here. But this don't hit. And and clean, it, it's even worse for clean. Because she would... It, like, she literally, even though she trained for it, yes, I know, she literally just pulled it out of her ass. She was like, oh, my brother's doing overdrive? Okay, I'm gonna do it too. What the f- Like, did, did Hiromashima not learn from Dragon Ball, dude? Super Saiyan bargain sale? Remember that from, from the Boo Saga? You can have a bunch of different Super Saiyan transformations in one, in one arc. The Cell Saga did it perfectly, but it did it in, like, different ways. So you had- Trunks coming from the future and he had Super Saiyan and that was crazy and that led to uh to Vegeta being like in Absolute torment by seeing some dude from the future that he didn't even know have Super Saiyan and Goku have Super Saiyan So it it meant even more when he went Super Saiyan But these dudes trained off screen and now they're each getting into a fight that once it gets a little bit hard They just transform and then it's done with I'm gonna make a whole separate video on Overdrive because I feel like th there's way more that needs to be talked about. So that's all I'm gonna say for right now. But like, why he look less cool here than right here? What happened? What, what is this? What type of Overdrive is this? These two are like polar opposites. He changed too much and she didn't change enough. Bro, Jin kinda look like shit. We will be the wind of Edens. Bro, he looks so cool here. Again, what happened? And just like that, we're, 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 dude, oh my gosh. Let's go hang in there, witch. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And then we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.